All right, so one more tag that you're going to be using all the time that I want to go through is another one that was kind of like the break tag where we said it opened and it kind of doesn't really close, but it kind of does. So I'm going to walk you through that part right now, and that is adding an image. So that's so important in a web page because it has to be an interesting web page. You want to have graphics on it. It's going to happen. We need to know how to write that tag. So let's go ahead and put that at the very top of my page here. Got a lot going on. I'm going to delete some of the stuff down here that we don't need. All right, definitely need to know what my favorite bands are, so I'm going to keep that. But at the very top up here, we're going to go ahead and add our image. So I will start off by doing the less than symbol, as we always do. And the image tag starts with IMG. That's all you need. Now, we need, now that we've defined that this is an image, we need to say what the source of that image is. All right, so we say SRC equals, and now Again, a lot of the different uh, editing programs may work a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and put this in manually so you see how it works. Um, some of them allow you to browse and go find the image itself, but it'll make a lot more sense if you just do it yourself right here. So we always open it up with a quote, and in between those quotes, we put the actual path to the image. Now, this is going to be very important, and we'll go through it more in the next video, but let's go ahead and take a look here. I've got my index file drag it up here so you can see it and it is right next to this image of a little itty bitty kitty that we're going to be putting in our file and so the page being right next to the kitten should make this very simple but linking to an image can be very complex sometimes if you don't understand it so again we'll go into that in more depth in the next lesson but for right now let's go ahead and just do just the image tag so we'll say the image source because it's right next to me, it's I can just type in the name of the image, kitten.jpg. Very important. A lot of times people leave off the extension of what the file is. Um, you have to have that in there because there are different types of graphics that you could be pulling into a web page, like a ping or a GIF or anything like that. JPEG, you have to tell it exactly what it is. You can see right up here, kitten.jpg. So type it out exactly as it is. And what we're going to do is right after that quote, we can hit a space. And just like the break tag, we want to add a closing tag and the greater than symbol. So this is the very base information that you're going to need for an image. So let's go ahead and save it and take a look at what that looks like. All right, so I pull this up. I'm going to refresh my page. And you can see I'm a little bitty kitty right there, just nice and pretty. All right, so I said there are some other pieces that can go inside the image tag here. Now, if you wanted to define the image itself, you can give it attributes like something very important. We started talking a little bit about SEO is an alt tag. I'm going to type in my alt tag right here. This is telling the search engines what this image is. So let's say Google comes to my web page and starts searching through it, and as it gets to the point where it sees this kitten.jpg, it really doesn't know what this image is. I can name it kitten, but it could be a picture of Slayer. It doesn't know any different. But if I put in the alt tag what it is, that helps tell the search engines what this image is, helps rank my web page a little bit better, and it also helps provide um, help for other people who are doing searches for images. My web page might come up for that. So I'm going to say kitty cat. And again, we don't have to do any kind of real formatting in here. This is just describing whatever the image is. This could be a full sentence. This could be just one word. You don't have to put it at all. This is just helpful information and good practice to do. And I can see I'm kind of leaving a space here in between the quotes and the next word, like alt. Uh, same thing between the alt and the forward slash up here. You don't necessarily have to do it. It just makes things a lot easier to read and see. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do I have a space bar here. You can define like the width and the height of the image. Again, there's other tags you can use in here as well, but these are the main ones you may see. So let's say width uh, of the image. Maybe I don't want it as big as it is, because right now if I look at the image, the image is kind of big. I don't know. I think it's about 800 pixels if I uh, remember how I saved it right, maybe 600. Um, but let's say the width of it, maybe we want it to be a little bit smaller. Let's say width equals 300 pixels. Let's go ahead and save that. Oops, actually I actually got those single quotes there. Although that's not wrong, it's best to just kind of be consistent with, yeah, just keeps wanting to put extra ones in there. All right, 
So let's go ahead and save that and come back to my file here. And you can see after I refresh it, it's telling the browser to only display that image at 300 pixels wide. Is that what I said? Yeah, 300 pixels wide. But if I don't put anything at all, it's just going to display the image at full height and width. Let's save that again. All right, so there it is, full width. 